Bay Area fingerprints will be all over the August Olympic Games. Here's another homegrown hopeful. Rooney surging on top of the water. Maxine Rooney. The fastest Northern California born 18 and under is just days away from trying to make his first Olympic team. It's definitely been a goal since 2012, actually before that, and I'm, I couldn't be more excited just because of how over the years our plan has worked, and um, we're very excited to execute it there. The Olympic trials are in Omaha next week. Swimming for the Pleasanton Seahawks since he was eight, Rooney, out of Livermore, grabbed the swim world spotlight last year in Singapore, winning the 100 and 200 meter freestyle. After all, in French, the name Maxime means the greatest. You're just fast, huh? <laughs> Definitely very blessed. Yeah. <laughs> Subsequent triumphs vaulted him onto the junior national and then the national team at just 17. He's been clocking times, rivaling and besting Michael Phelps and Ryan Lochte. Look at some of his best times, both in yardage and meters, times that would make any swim coach salivate. Fortunately for the University of Florida, Rooney heads to Gainesville in the fall. The sprinter credits his faith and coaching for his success, except for a goggle incident before a race. It was the prelims of the 200 free. I fixed my goggles like this, and they snapped right here. And I was like, I looked around like, what, what am I going to do? For me and my team, knowing that like I wear prescription goggles, that was a kind of, I was a huge like fuss, a big deal because I couldn't see. Monday he competes in the 200 meter free. Wednesday the 100. In Rio Olympics, well that's something he can visualize. Yeah, boy, that's without exciting. those glasses, he is blind as a bat. But I'll tell you what, wow. with those goggles on, when he shows up, absolutely. the question is, all right, who's coming in second? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he just glides. He makes it look easy, as they all do. So. Good luck to him. All right, Vern, great story. Well, that's it for us. Showtime Boxing is next, and our next newscast will be at 8 p.m. News update, so between now and then, always on CBSSF.com. Bye for now.